Yo, hit that thumbs up button, notifications, all that good stuff, yo. So, Tiger, um, formerly known as, you know, Mr. Rack City, uh, was signed with Young Money years ago, had that lawsuit against Birdman, dropped it for like 10 million, for whatever it was. Uh, now he's back in the news for not paying his rent. And this isn't the first time he's done this, like 2018. Uh, it was the same thing. People were like, why is he renting the house? Why is he renting in the first place? I don't know. Maybe he's undecided. You know, he's a California guy. Um, but yeah, he's renting the house. Rent is 58000 a month. Let that sink in. That's crazy. So <laughs> do the math. You, your rent is 58000 a month. They're saying that he owes like 100000 in in, in uh, damages and shit like that. Um, but your rent is fifty eight grand a month. Your net worth is five million. Five million to a regular person is a lot, but when you when you live a high maintenance lifestyle, like a light skinned nigga like Tiger, and you know house taxes in California are crazy. You gotta flex. You got all these girls. You these girls gotta get paid. You know what, what, what are you supposed to think? Now I, you know I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt, but when you look at the history, you've done this before. You know we know you got screwed in your contract with Birdman. Join the rest of the niggas that did. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's because you're doing OnlyFans also. That's another dead giveaway. And I predicted that earlier this year. And I'm not Negro Domus, but I just said one and two. A lot of these celebrities, are, their films, movies have stopped being uh, shot. TV shows, been on pause breaks. Uh, concert revenue, all of that is dead. Uh, Baby Boy from Pretty Ricky got caught a couple about a month ago doing a COVID-19 scam. Yeah, people are running fraud. People are doing all kind of shit to get by now. Lisa Ray, aka Diamond from the Players Club, she just joined OnlyFans. Alright? Sit down, Diamond. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My boy says she look like Claire Huxtable now. She's doing OnlyFans, bro. Chris Brown is doing OnlyFans. Everybody is doing this. They're not doing this for no reason. The internet been people been getting butt naked on the internet for years. You think it's a coincidence? Now all of a sudden they doing it in 2020. It's the pandemic. It's the pandemic, and it's starting to really hurt people. When your rent is fifty eight thousand a month, how are you? And you ain't bringing in that much, you know, because of the pandemic. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it's true. And how did he respond? Like most rappers do, he posted. He said no cap. And then he posted a video of him and some of these broads. I guess he does videos with. You know, with some money. That's how they all respond. It's like Rod Wave. His big ass fell off stage a couple weeks ago. He fell through the stage. How did he respond? Stack of money. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's his response. You know what I mean? I got bread and you niggas don't. You know what I'm it's a typical rap response. Like, But this is what they do. I, I'm not surprised any of these cats is doing OnlyFans. They, they trying to eat. They trying to survive. And it's sad out here, really. You would think you're really seeing who really manages their money, who's really got investments, who's really got, you know, stocks and all this, and who's just living. Uh, it's almost like a person that lives check to check. A lot of these entertainers live check to check. You know, it's like 50 said, you're not really making money until you're not working. You got to do concerts to get money. You got to get on the road. You got to make sure everything's set up. You got to make sure that the promoter pays you up front at least half. A lot of things have to go into that. You know what I mean? A lot of people are out of work, and it's not just us regular people. And speaking of that, like I said, Joe Biden and them, Joe Biden wanted the whole country to be shut down. That's the first order of business. They're talking about a six-week shutdown in January. Get ready to be locked up in the house again. I don't know how the economy can function that way, but so long, but you're going to see it again. We are going back to quarantine mode so this isn't gonna end anytime soon but it is just really getting sad every other day as a new celebrity's got only fans but they're doing what they gotta do i guess <laughs> but uh tiger yeah you to, to, to have all that money and to know you're gonna stay in california i guess forever and to still be renting a house it's like bro wouldn't it be less expensive to just buy a house just buy the crib and pay your yearly taxes and knock it off you know what i mean but you're still, renting, you're still renting cribs, bro. You know? And this is the second time this has happened. So, I mean, of course I believe it. You know, but it's embarrassing. Nobody wants to be... Nobody wants to be out of when they're having financial problems. You can't pay your phone bill. You can't pay this. You can't pay that. It's embarrassing. Nobody wants to be uh, dealing with that, let alone let it be publicized. 
But you see rappers go through this all the time and then they try to put up a stack of money and try to flaws and say, oh, y'all niggas think I'm broke. I, look, I've had home, I've had friends that you look on their social media, they look like they're really doing well. And then you, they turn around and be like, yo, you, you got gas money? You know what I mean? But on, online, they look like they, they look like they're doing well. A lot, of, a lot of things can be fabricated really easily on social media. You can really paint a picture and be whoever the hell you want to be on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Where you think they got it from? They got the fronting from the rappers. The rappers really was they 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 started this shit. They started the fake fake flexing one on one. They started it. You know, it's a big part of who a rapper is. It's fronting to be like you got something that you don't. You know, then you got the J Coles. You know, J. Cole, I don't know his financial situation, you know, but, you know, you don't see him out here stunting and acting like he got it like that. But I'm pretty sure he's well taken care of. But this this image has to be upkept, you know, so when the money ain't coming in, you can't. It's hard to keep that image up. It's hard to keep finding these stacks of money. And, you know, a lot of cats, regular cats, they'll get like eight twenty dollar bills, spread it out on the bed and be like, yeah, we get money over here. And it's like, nigga, sit down. <laughs> You know, take you and your $220 or whatever and go sit down somewhere. But as I say, I never felt like the need to front and act like I got it like that. Like, who who cares? You know what I mean? You setting yourself up to get robbed, if anything. But, you know, Tiger uh, apparently is in some, some deep shit. You know what I mean? You going from house to house and this is the second time in two years, three years this has happened. You know, you're not doing OnlyFans for no reason, but... It just keeps piling up. I'm like, who's the next celebrity to join OnlyFans? Who do you think? Yeah, take a guess in the comment section. Who's next, nigga? You know what I mean? You're not getting butt naked for no reason. We ain't never see it. Premium accounts have been online for years. Snapchat and all this other stuff. Now, all of a sudden, everybody like, fuck it. We got to do what we got to do. And if these thirsty people are going to pay to see us, you know, screw each other, the hell with it. <laughs> That's how they living, man. It's like, man... You know, because a regular job ain't going to help you when your rent is 58 G's a month. You know, it's it's really getting uh, crunch time. It's crunch time out here. It's the fourth quarter and niggas is down by 20 points with no coaching staff. A couple of injuries on, you know, a couple of players on injured reserve. It's fucking crunch time, nigga. <laughs> it is getting bad out here. The pickings are slim. Man, let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Hit that like button.